What's up guys, how you all doing? I'm out in my forest and today we're going to put to the test world smallest survival stove. Also camping stove could be as well. The benefit of this thing, it's a lightweight, it's only like $12, really really cheap. But what you will have to buy is one of these gases. So it's gonna go on top like that. I have put to the test something like that before, but it is way, way bigger compared to this one. So let's see how well it's going to work and hopefully we can boil the water within a minutes. Okay, to unfold it is simple. You fold it out like that. Actually, you gotta lift them all up first and then close them at the same time. Boom. And then there is a regulator. You just close it all the way, make sure. That way, whenever we put the gas on, it's not going to spill it out. We want to save every little bit of gas. This gas stove does not have a starter, so you will have to have matches or lighter to start the gas. Okay, let's start it. Right now it's daytime, so it's really hard to see the flames, so I'll film that in the dark after I'm done here. Okay, I have here full teapot of water. Hopefully it's staying pretty stably. There you go. And I'm gonna turn it up. Let's see how fast we're going to boil this water. Okay, it's been about 30 seconds. I can see a little bit of steam coming out and some bubbles over there. We're gonna cover it up to keep all the heat inside of the pot. So it's been about five minutes. It's starting to boil slowly. But again, this is a big pot of water. We'll get you at least two big mugs of coffee easily. I would say this is not the most efficient. I think jet boil stove is uh, a bit faster for sure. But as you can see, look at that, it's starting to boil. So within five and a half minutes, boom, looking good. I wanna get it full, full boiled so we can kill all the bacteria in case there is any. Six minutes in and this is definitely full, full boil. I love it so much. I'm gonna take it off. Very, very nice and powerful. So far I'm happy with this. To make it smaller, you separate this, boom. That way it is much, much smaller. And then you can fold this all together. This one over here. This has got to be the cheapest survival stove right here, camping. And then put it with the gas right here. Look at that, it fits you right under it. So if you put this in the pouch, you have your stove all together and it barely sticks out and take up any kind of space. So this is definitely a really good idea for a budget, also lightweight survival stove right here. I'll definitely use it in the future. Okay, I got here a mountain house. This is the easiest way to make yourself breakfast, lunch and dinner. Packets like that, camping food, survival food. This one going to last you, let's see. This is a purple food too, and it's so delicious. Uh, this one expired 2046. Well, they saying best buy. And obviously take all that stuff out first. Boom, apple crisps, there you go. Is there a fill line? I don't see the fill line, but right here they say one cup of water. So not even that much, and you, then you wait six minutes i never had apple crisps before let's see if it's any good i think that's about one cup of water mm, that is already smells so delicious that's gotta be some kind of dessert okay and then we close this also you want to stir it up really good shake it up so that way you don't have dry pieces with this kind of food, freeze dried food. Okay guys, got my apple crisps right here. Let's taste test it. Mmm. That's pretty good. I can't believe this stuff stays good for like 30 years. 
without going bad. This is the best survival food so far for me. Those MREs usually only last like 6 to 12 years, depends what kind of MRE you have. But this stuff stays good for a very, very long time. So you can stock up on them and not worry about, oh, they might go bad before you're gonna consume it. They're gonna stay good half your lifetime. <clears throat> yep, and it says dessert three servings. So you're supposed to share it with somebody else. But man, it's so good. I might be able to eat the whole thing by myself. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below if you like this kind of video. And if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. That means like you enjoying it, so I'm gonna continue uploading this kind of videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. By the way guys, remember this cool tree I filmed here camping all the time, or camping gadgets. This is a cool tree because it died, but then it survived anyways after falling and started growing sideways like that. But unfortunately it fell down this winter again and I'm so sad because this is, was my favorite spot to film the camping gadgets. I might still film here, but I'm so sad the tree fell down. Oh well, maybe I'll put to the test some gadgets in the future, clearing it out.